Big now come up and 9.9 .9 on the floor. She's back into the lead. But now Elfie Schlegel of Canada starting her beam routine. Elfie Schlegel, of course, had to stop midway through her asymmetric bars routine, hurt her toe, but obviously just stubbed it. They put a bit of plaster on, but she seems fine. And of course, just because she came off the bars and scored very low doesn't mean she's out of this World Cup competition because there are the individual apparatus finals. So if she can perform well on the beam and the floor, then she could stand the chance of making the finals. But bad wobble and off 0.5 deduction. Well, she's not going to make the beam final anyway. A little problem there because the crowd applauded just as they turned the Maxi Nauk scoreboard round. The crowd saw that it was a 9.9 .9 and it might have upset her. Well, she's regained her composure well in this routine. A fall is always unnerving. And there, two good back flicks are straight into that double twisting back somersault to finish. But she'll be marked well down after that fall, perhaps trying a bit too hard on her big occasion. 9.45. Christina Grigoras of Romania. The Romanians being overshadowed almost in competition. Amelia Eberly not been performing well. And that was Marta Caroli, the Romanian coach, just taking away that springboard. She's been very sour all week. She perhaps feel a little better. Two very good back somersaults there from Grigoras. Yes, the coach really has been working. The two Romanian team members, Amelia Eberly and Christina Grigoras, very hard. It's a difficult front somersault with half twist and she landed it well because in training she's been falling off time after time and the coach has made her repeat it and repeat it. Really very strict training regime the Romanians have. Out of picture I could just see a small smile on Marta Caroli's face. And what a shame, a wobble after that backflip. Really one of the easier moves in her routine. Nevertheless, so far, a vast improvement. But she has, as Barbara said, gone through this routine probably 30 times this week already. Double front. That is unusual from the beam. Somersaulting in the forwards direction. It's very difficult because you can't see where you're going to land. You have to time it perfectly. Well, onto the floor now, Radka Zemanova. The score for Christina Grigoris, 9.65. Watch for her opening tumble. In training, she was having a lot of difficulty with it. She's attempting the triple twist. And just makes it. Yes, she got all the way around on the third twist. In practice, she was very often only getting two and a half in. And of course, that is not just given the credit it deserves because the judges know that she's really going for a triple. Well, Radka Zemanova is coming fourth at the moment. She's just point two behind the leader, so it's a very important opening tumble for her. An unexpectedly high placing for this girl. She really looked very good and strong in training, and it's been borne out in the competition. Double twist. 
The double twist in the back somersault straight. Oh yes, and that's good to see such a good performance by a Czechoslovakian gymnast. They're really emerging in top world-class gymnastics. She just 16, so she's got plenty of time to improve still more. Yes, and what a score for her, 9.7. Emilia Eberle of Romania. Finding herself in a very surprising position. She's way down in 15th place. She came into this event as one of the favourites. Has this is disastrous competition so far. Really not looking in her normal shape. No, she was looking very strong in training and very, very good. And she's, of course, put on quite a bit of weight since Moscow. It's really looking quite different. There's a bit of criticism in Moscow and the Fort Worth World Championships in 1979 about the Romanian team, how thin, thin they were, about the strict training. So perhaps they've been relaxing on them a little, but I think having an effect, perhaps not quite so used to coping with that extra weight, although she looks much better for it. And of course, Grigoras, her junior teammate, right up, almost in medal contention. And Eberle will be anxious to re-establish herself because Nadia Komanec, taking a year off, she should really be the Romanian number one. And certainly this beam routine is far more like what we would expect to see from Amelia Eberle. Oh yes, and what a dismount, double pike somersault. Now Maria Falatova of the Soviet Union, she's twice won this competition, but now she's down in sixth place. And the score for Amelia Eberle, 9.7, and that's the equal highest mark so far on the beam. Filatova, two 9.65 so far, but that's not good enough in this standard of competition. In Moscow, she got 9.9 for her floor, and she's going to need a score like that. The leaders are going to slip right away from her. Double right back somersault. single twisting back somersaults in that sequence. A lot of her going for grace to suit the music, her dance movements, very smooth. Just preparing herself for her final tumbling sequence. Oh, and she didn't make it. She was going for a double pike back somersault again and landed right down almost on her head. She seems all right, but she'll lose marks badly for that. She must now be out of the overall competition. Yes, 0.5 at least she'll lose. Of course, the fatigue at the end of the se exercise affects the gymnasts. They're tired. It's that much more difficult to get the height off the mat. This is Yelena Naimushna, who started the competition disastrously. But then scored a 9.8. That's a good opening tumbling routine with a double pike back somersault to finish it. Best pieces. And no 
those were one-handed backflips that makes them harder to go on into the next move. And a complete contrast to Philadelphia's floor exercise. Isn't that a beautiful double pipe back somersault to finish with? Landed it perfectly. It's a beautiful routine. I didn't see much wrong with that. Yes, she knows it was good. Well, way down in 10th place when she came onto the floor. She scored just 9 1 for her bars. She fell from that apparatus. She surely will improve on her placings with that. And of course, very important that she gets good marks on the floor because she can still qualify for the individual apparatus finals, which take place tomorrow, even though she's out of the overall competition. And her score, 9.9. .9. Sets the mark for her first vault to count, 9.7. This is Christina Grigoris on the floor. Good double tuck back somersault to start her routine. But double tuck back somersaults now very much the norm in women's gymnastics. The really top girls going for something more difficult on that open opening tumbling routine. Quite a surprise that she's finished so high in this competition. She was in the Romanian Olympic team but didn't really do anything special over there. But at the moment she's in fifth place really performing very well. sequence to double twist Christina Gregoris showing that hard work really pays her elder sister to a Romanian international and she scored 9.75 next the young Czechoslovakian gymnast Jana Labakova the smallest and youngest competitor in the competition she was lying equal fifth with Christina Gregoras before this exercise. She's just seen her score a 9.75. Marks very close for the minor placings. Ooh, what an opening sequence, though. These whip somersaults, two of those, and then she did a double twist. Yeah, that dive forward roll. Important to get these linking movements right. They might not look difficult, but they've got to be good. She has done remarkably well in this competition because, oh, double pike! Because she's not yet been seen very much in full senior international competition. A very new member to the Czechoslovakian team. And she came into their senior team in Moscow. Crowd loving these cheeky little movements. Building up now to her final tumbling routine. And a double tuck back somersault to finish with. She just stuttered forward but managed to hold it without putting her hands down. That's very important in terms of marking. Well, another very polished routine. Difficult to see how you could separate that routine with the one performed by Christina Gregoras. And the Czechoslovakians having a marvellous day.
That drew flakes to build up speed. These are those whip somersaults there. She doesn't put her hands down in those. And that makes going into that double twisting back somersault more difficult. And Lavakova scores 9.75 to overtake her teammate, Zemanova. But still, that's two Czechoslovakians in the top six. That was the final tumble. Double back somersault really only just got round. Emilia Ebele of Romania. Disappointing competition for her. She finished second in last year's World Cup. But she certainly won't do that this year, but still she has a chance to make the individual apparatus finals. She is the reigning world champion in floor exercise. A nice double plate back somersault to start with. She came back strongly in the third piece of apparatus. She's got the highest mark on the beam. she performed when she won the world championships on floor your last tumble and you're getting tired well she may finish nowhere in the overall competition but good beam good floor she'll make the finals on those two apparatus that's tomorrow's competition from the soviet union 